Hello, my friends, my family, my colleagues. Today, I want to clarify something about the distilled water. There is a wide belief in uh, the healers community in the so-called alternative medicine more than allopathic medicine about the huge benefits of consuming a distilled water. Now, where do those beliefs come from? Number one, we know that the cleaner water it is, the higher rate of absorption it is going to have. And higher, not rate of absorption, but higher capacity. Uh, because if the water already has some minerals, well, this basically lowers now the capacity of how much more it can absorb. So uh, one would think you put salt in there, for example, now you have increased hugely uh, the amount of dissolved matter in there, which will greatly reduce now the overall um, possibility to absorb, for example, the garbage from the body. And uh, the belief from the alternative healers, alternative medicine is that uh, for that reason, uh, you are going to detoxify faster if you consume distilled water. Now, the truth is, yes, the highest capacity of absorption would be when water is pure, distilled. There is nothing purer than distilled water. But we are ignoring the fact that the absorption does not depend on, on purity. The capacity, yes, but absorption, no. All the properties that element has do not depend on atomic structure, which we always believe this is so. It is not the HO2. It is actually the net, the, the angle in which oxygen and hydrogen are positioned and how they interact with another molecule of oxygen and hydrogen. This is what we call this structure, this net that it creates, that it forms. And all the characteristics of everything depend on a structure, not on the definition of what atom is being used, because Again, we have to go quantum, and when we go quantum, we understand that there is no such a thing as a particle, so there is no such a thing as electron or uh, atom as such. It's just energy, and that it creates from the sound, it creates different vibrations, which interact with each other, creating points of contact when the, all these uh, waves of energy hit each other and go through each other. They create contact points, which are the base of a sacred geometry. And the sacred geometry is actually what the brain is deciphering how it is programmed then to manifest them in a certain way. And this is where a particle shows up, not because it exists. In quantum field, it doesn't exist. It exists only after it was being processed through the brain, 
after the processor tells it when some frequency becomes particle, what kind of a particle. So, if you are taking now distilled water as example, number one, distilled water does not have particular structure because it has to be influenced by electromagnetic frequency which could be interaction with elements or basically interaction with our thoughts because thoughts are electromagnetic waves. This is why I always say does not matter. You never know what water you are drinking. So always structure it yourself. So now if you take distilled water and you structure it, well this is a different story. But these people they don't talk about structuring. They just say, well, distilled water and it's going to be great, the best, it will cleanse you. It will do no such a thing. It's not going to happen. So you have to structure it. Now water that comes from in the nature after rainfall goes through the soil, interacts, those are all frequencies, interacts with them picks up minerals, again frequencies, then it becomes structured. And this is the best water to drink because it's already structured by nature. Now, if you distill it, it comes from distiller, it is not structured. Even the water in nature, it, it was uh, discovered by um, uh, Masaru Emoto. If the water that is structured, passes a pipe that is more than, I, I believe he said two meters long, I may be wrong, it loses structure. So the water that is in our pipes, this definitely is non-structured water. It's not beneficial to us. Our body has to structure it. So the absorption is not, not so great. So doesn't matter if it's bottled water, whatever water, it is not going to have much of a good effect unless you structure it. Um, and the action of the water in your body depends on the way it is structured. So if you take a distilled water and then yes, the water is going to be free, free of chlorine, free of uh, whatever additives they are putting in a water to poison us, which they do, uh, bromium and, and um, um, other stuff. So, taking distilled water or water that goes uh, through um, osmotic process, that water is going to be clean, it will have capacity to absorb, but it is not going to do that if the body is low on minerals, low on plasma. So basically you will drink this water, first it may not really feel that good because it's not structured, so it takes your body to energize it, structure it, which your body really reacts to negatively. So just, well, just pay attention. So if you take just distilled water and start drinking it, you will see it's pretty hard. It's acidic and it's hard water. And to soften it, you structure it. Uh, so if you don't have access to some good drinking water that is from a well or from a clean river uh, and you are buying bottled water which again you don't know where it comes from and it's in a plastic bottles probably being left for some time exposed to sunlight so bisphenol uh, A can be there um, which is estrogen, artificial estrogen compound. So it is 
safe to distill water, but then you have to mineralize it. So you have to put sea salt in it, and then you have perfect water, but then again you have to structure it. So structure it with your thoughts. Whatever you want to do, just um, whatever you want water to, uh, to do for you, you can just look at it. Um, better yet, if you are vocal, because then you are amplifying the, the action of your thoughts. But, you know, you don't want to look like idiot somewhere in restaurant and start talking to the water. So you can just do it mentally. And uh, you can tell the water. You can thank it, not tell it to be something, but to, to is something. So you can say thank you for being structured, healing water. And then you can add, if you have time, you can add every little thing that you want this water to do for you. Because every thought that you create is electromagnetic wave that is going to be recognized because it is going to change, actually, the net of the water, the sacred geometry of the water. And it will have the properties that you desire because every thought is basically uh, a frequency, desirable frequency, is a symbol of the frequency that you want to send out. You don't have to know it by hertz. You just, your brain knows what you mean when you say something, when you think something. So it doesn't matter what language you use, doesn't matter if you just make a symbols, you don't even have to write them on, you don't have to write love and healing and, and uh, I don't know, uh, prosperity on the water. You can just, with a finger, draw a line and just consciously say, well, this line is staying here on the glass and this rep represents a healing and this will give water uh, sanity and this will give water uh, purity of toxicity and this will give, and whatever. Actually, again, I, I made a mistake. You don't mention what you don't want, so you don't make toxicity there. You just put everything that you want the water to do without mentioning of what not to do. And this is basically how our mind has to work. And uh, I know this for a long time and I still make mistakes. It's not easy because it is very difficult to change our way of thinking once when the program is already installed. This is why we are going to go soon uh, through a cleansing process that is going to be controlled um, by the outside forces, illumination. But so we clarify this thing that uh, it is big misconception and partial knowledge is always standing in a way because then we make up the rest uh, because we don't realize the details. And distilled water is acidic and it's not structured and it's very difficult on a body to take and it does not cleanse because the body will reject it even when it's absorbed because it's absolutely no uh, minerals in it so it's not ionic. It, it, it has no ions. So it will dramatically dilute the ionic state of our plasma, our blood, which immediately decreases um, electroconductivity. And body has to reestablish the proper electroconductivity and immediately starts throwing out the water without anything in it. It's just urinate it and sweat it out. So it's not definitely not a good idea to drink distilled water without structuring it and adding minerals. I hope it makes sense to you. It does to me. <laughs> I love you all. Till next time.